Hello booktube and welcome to part 8 of the science fiction and fantasy part of my 2020 library tour. Uh, so we finished off one of my grandfather's bookcases and we're now moving on to the other open-ended shelving unit I picked up about a year ago from Walmart that I'm using as a double-sided bookcase. So the first book up is Tagana by Gag, Gabriel K. I I read this book earlier this year. Um, it's basically about a fantasy version of Italy um, that's been, or one of the Italian states, that's been conquered by this dark wizard who, whose uh, son, f favorite son, is killed during the climatic battle. And in revenge, he basically curses Tigana to forget its name. That the people do not know they are Tiganan. They believe they are uh, from a lower quarto, I think. And this is about um, the rebellion against this um, wizard. As well as driving this wizard into fighting another wizard who uh, from a different empire who's conquered the other part of this um, Italian XP and I really didn't get on with this book very well um, I thought the characters were a bit not quite they, what they could have been I think um, but I might come back to it I'm not overly satisfied with my reading so I will probably come back to it at some point. Next up are two books I do really like. Um, sorry about constantly entering into the light rays from my ceiling fan. I don't know why it does that but it does. Anyway so first up is The Traitor God by Cameron Johnston. This is about a um, wizard named Walker, or Edrin Walker, who has been exiled from his home for decades, who returns to seek revenge for the murder of his best friend. And during the investigation into the friend's murder, he comes upon, comes upon a conspiracy by a rival nation to destroy the city using an Eldritch Abomination. And this book is so, so good. I loved it. And I loved its sequel. Um, God of Broken Things. In this case, we um, return with Edwin Walker, who is basically battling the people behind the threat from the first book and sees their end. But first he has to go deal with his um, family. And it is just, I love this book. So good. Highly recommend both of them. Um, next up, ooh, yikes, um, is uh, Block a Dog by K.V. Johansson. And then uh, the big book of classic fantasy edited by Anne and Jeff Vandermeer. Um, this is basically one of the, so in the past few years, the Vandermeers have been editing several big books. Um, first up was the big book of classic science fiction and then the big book of classic fantasy and just this year, the big book of modern fantasy which I intend to pick up all three. That's, well, I obviously have this one, but I'm wanting to pick up the other two at some point. And then we have Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes. And next we have a whole slew of books 
by N.K. Jemison. Uh, the Fifth Season, uh, Book One of The Broken Earth. The Obelisk Gate, Book Two. And The Stone Sky, Book Three. I really need to uh, read these. Um, I tried the fifth season a few years ago and didn't quite get on with it. But I'm planning on giving it another go sometime later or sometime in the new year. And it won basically the trifecta. Uh, three Hugos for best novel. Impressive feat. Uh, then we have the Dreamblood series of book one, The Killing Moon, which I read um, this year and didn't particularly care for. I thought there were some good parts, but there were some parts that I thought um, didn't quite work for me. Namely, I think the characters. Um, and this is book two, The Shadowed Sun. And finally, um, N.K. Jemison's first book, uh, first Short story collection, How Long Till Black Future Month, which has some really good stories in here. Um, so, The City Born Great, I really liked. Uh, Red Dirt Witch, I liked. I think I liked La Alchemista, too, and The Affluent Engine. Then I think it's Walking a Rake, I really liked. I mean, there are quite a few books in here, or stories in here, that were really good. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. So, now we have another book by uh, Sylvia Moreno-Garcia, Gods of Jade and Shadow. Um, this is a story about the um, Mayan underworld. And then we have uh, The Still Remains, book one of A Land Fit for Heroes, I think, by Richard K. Morgan. I really like this story. Um, it's very grimdark. Um, I love the characters. Um, although, the ending leaves a bit to be desired, I think. But it's been a while since I've read it. But I really remember enjoying it. And then we have... Weird Kills, edited by Marvin K. I think I got put onto this book by Mark Richardson of Richardson Reads. I think he has a copy and he showed it, and I'm like, oh, this sounds cool, so I picked it up. And next we have some books by Jin Yong or Louis Cha. This is the first three books in the Legend of the Condor Heroes series. A Hero Born, A Bond Undone, and A Snake Lies Waiting. I have the um, British editions of the series um, because they were published, I think, a year or two before. Um, the American editions came out. I mean, I, I love the American, the, the covers of the American editions. But um, I've um, bought, so far, all both, all of the ones that have been released from in the, the UK edition from Book Depository. So I'll continue that one with A Heart Divided, which will be coming out at the beginning of February. And at my next paycheck, I will be pre-ordering. I'm quite excited to have it. And then starting next January, I will be reading the entire series over the succeeding four months. So looking forward to it. Anyway, booktube, that was part eight of my of the science fiction section of the 2020 Library Tour. I will be right back with a December book haul. So until then, booktube, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe. And Merry Christmas Eve. If you so celebrate Christmas. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Booktube.